everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with another reading, and this one is going to be, What is His Sexual Fantasy? I did a, um, the compatibility one, but I feel like this topic is still something that needs to be explored even more. <laughs> so let's do the fantasy one. So I have three piles. <clears throat> One, two, three. This one's kind of a cobalt blue translucent. This is like teal, little bead. And this is kind of an opaque, shiny blue bead. So just basically one, two, and three. Before we begin, just want to let you know that this is kind of explicit. There will be... Probably there'll be pictures of nudity and sexual positions, possibly. And um, so, yeah, if you're delicate about that kind of thing, you know, maybe this isn't the right reading for you. <laughs> but uh, if you're open-minded and want to know more about this kind of thing, please stay tuned. And ready, everybody? Let's take a deep breath. Let it out. Just relax. And close your eyes. Now open your eyes and let your eyes drift to the pile that's meant for you. That's one way of picking, but you can have your own way, whatever you feel comfortable with. You can pick the pile, the number, the stone, whatever works for you guys. Um, this message, of course, is a general message to many, many people, so it might not resonate with you, and this might not be your reading, but if you do find something you like, please feel free to comment. I love your comments. Okay, everybody, let's begin. Okay, here we have pile number one. So, we have different decks that I'm working with, and what happens is and when I shuffle the question in, the spirit sort of decides how many of each deck will spit out. But I do have two of the sexual magic ones. So let's start with that. And we have the Fool, which is a super, super nice card. <laughs> it's like erotic outburst, surrendering love. The magic action frees us from uncertainty, urging us to surrender to love. Willingness and spontaneity, and a spontaneity and willingness. So I really like that one. That's fun. We have judgment. So judgment is also a really nice card. This is love at first sight. The magic of sound. Sound changes the level of the spirit. The unexpected bursts forth to transform a stagnant situation. <clears throat> and I'll just read them. I'm going to read all the tarot connected. So I also decided to throw in the Wildwood Tarot the first time using it. And I like the way it speaks to me. So this one is three of vessels, joy. And joy is like celebration. You know, what we're used to knowing about three of cups. This is like within a commune or group or family, welcoming the coming of a new life or a good fortune and successful return to the migration or travel by tribe or groups. So, so far this is what I'm thinking. It doesn't appear to be anything having to do with a three-way situation, which sometimes that's what the three of cups can mean or vessels can mean. I, I really feel, and the, I think it's more of a romantic kind of sentiment, like he's a romantic, and what he wants more than anything is to be blown away, just like by looking at you, love at first sight. And then when you come into union, when you have sex, you know, that it would be like 
just that'll be just like this amazing connection this really this outburst of uh, excitement surrender like you both surrender like it'll be like an overwhelming kind of heat and passion and it'll be like a, you know amazing to him this is what he's his fantasy is his fantasy his whole life was to find this kind of sexual um, union with somebody it was like that sex would sort of transform both of you that would be just like this amazing joyful experience that just kind of blows your mind you know that's why <laughs> no so it's no small you know no tall order there or anything but that's a sexual fantasy he wants he wants all of that, you know, the love, the love at first sight, and then the coming together to be like, poo, like, you know, like fireworks, like amazing so far. So let's see what, I was going to add this to the end. I'll just add that to the end. We're going to go with the, uh, with the uh, gods and titans. And what do they have to, so ooh, Hermes, he's so hot. He's, he's probably the best looking one of the bunch. I don't know, I happen to like Odin, but Hermes is a nice figure there. And this is about communication. So, um, so communication, you know, he, he's a negotiator, but I'm thinking as far, as far as the connection here, like, he likes the love talk, he likes the sounds of your love, the love making sounds your expression. He likes the sound of you surrendering and just like letting go completely and <clears throat> being, you know, he knows that you're being blown away by the passion because of the sounds you're making that everything he does to you touches you so deeply and, and profoundly that you can't help but make expressions of love basically. <laughs> and, um, but on a you know smaller scale, you know, he can he also digs you know the sex chat you know typing things to each other that excites him, seeing the words, and um, phone phone sex too like hearing your voice that's exciting to him too, so those all of those things stir him up and you know get him going he likes that stuff. Let's see what else. Oh. And then we also, so the, the um, gods and titans spit out too this time. And we have Jade Emperor, which is organization. So um, when you come together, he's going to like, he wants it to be a natural, like a natural flow of action. Like nothing stiff or... Um, now, this is the card of, you know, making plans. And, of course, making plans is good and stuff. But when it comes to actual moment, he doesn't want it to be, like, forced. Or he just wants it to happen, you know, like this and the man magnetic attraction. And then just you go from there kind of thing. I'll, the other thing that he likes is <clears throat> he likes to set the mood and make the environment pretty and comfortable. So he'll probably want to be want to be with you in a place that's clean and organized and smells nice and looks pretty and has music and nice sounds and whatever so that's kind of important to him having a nice environment to make love to you have sex with you yeah let's see and then finally from um fairy forecast just be playful you know so he has these kind of high expectations, high hopes, you know, these are his fantasies. This is what he would really, if he could have what he wanted, he would want that, that, that love at first sight, that, that ignition, that just explosion, hearing you like scream his name, basically just like be so in ecstasy. But, you know, um, maybe afterwards, you know, in between the times, be playful with each other, you know, like, oh, the, the union can be really, really serious and spiritual, but also in between, there can be moments of playfulness and silliness and sweetness and love chat and that kind of thing. So, so yeah, you know, um, 
it's okay to be serious and to be intense because that feels really nice. But to help lighten the mood sometimes would be good too, to have a little more playful moments between the two of you. So yeah, that's kind of a romantic reading, more than sexual, I guess, but he ha he's a romantic. This is what he wants. He wants he wants this like perfect explosion of the moment. But this could also be what she wants because I started off with the his or her fantasy and and then I realized, well, this might really be more his fantasy, but it could go for her. Definitely. This would be my fantasy for sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, so, um, either way, his or hers, but, uh, yeah, that's what, what he's interested in, just, um, like this, this really great attraction with a little effort and, um, a very explosive union with lots of verbal communication of love and sounds and, you know, the sounds of orgasm, the sounds of him pleasuring you, knowing that he's pleasuring you, that kind of thing. Okay, guys. So I'm going to move on to the next one. I hope you like that. Please like, subscribe, and um, put the notification bell so you can get notifications. And um, <clears throat> let me know if there's any other subjects that you're interested in and it can still be a sexual subject with a different kind of twist to it just let me know if, if you want to get more specific on this subject matter all right i'm going on to the next okay and here we have the teal colored bead and i have um a few decks in here i got the um tarot sexual magic so i'm going to start with that the uh, spirit kind of, as I was shuffling, determined how many of each to spit out. So, But all of them have, I think, three tarot sexual magic cards. So here we have the Six of Wands, which is nice. It is about touching. Let's see, Six of Wands is... Um, <clears throat> It's about, oh wait, is it wands? Yeah, six of wands. It's the magic of the uh, hair and the dove. It's like growing closer, but also growing apart, diluting, but yet confirming every game of pleasure must have an end in doubts, but also the doubts must be dispelled. So it's kind of like, so what appeals to him sort of is kind of like when you, play hard to get or <clears throat> when there's a little bit of chase involved or cat and mouse but he really and he seems to be an ass man so yeah if you have a nice butt that helps <laughs> all right let's see what else and here we have the ten of chalices which is a wonderful card and this is about attachment so this is the magic of the chalice the magic of the potion the drink um, the attachment between partners orients the relationship towards continuity and necessary form of happy family. So, yeah, we'll look into more of that, but I think it's about attachment. It's like belonging to each other. That makes them feel excited. And here's some more touching and more butts. So, yeah, <laughs> like, he likes your bottom. And the world is about gratification. And this is magic intimacy. So this is also touch. And shares con continuity, some more continuity. Gratifying and complete relationship, peace, and lasting happiness for a sense of family. So it's like this family stuff. And I was wondering, well, why is all this family stuff coming up? But it's important to him to have that kind of stability. But I also feel like... Um, this what he really wants is is this kind of to be able to touch you and look at you and feel you and he he wants to be sort of entwined with you attached to you close to you and like you guys be inseparable basically this kind of like be together see what the wildwood tarot has to say 
the Wild Wood Tarot came up with two. So it's like the Ten of Arrows and the Ten of Bows, two tens, instruction and responsibility, which kind of leads me to believe that um, as far as the uh, instruction, it's like he, he was going to tell you what he likes, you know, he... He wants to show you what you like, you know, find places, you know, on, you know, erotic places, E-zones, show you things that maybe you've never known before about yourself, and he wants to show you what he likes. And then, as far as responsibility goes, he kind of wants to be your hero, like he wants to take take you on and take this on and show you what he's made of. I think this is also kind of... The responsibility one also has to do with family. So what I'm thinking is maybe this is this guy is a father. He is a dad already. And this daddy thing about him, he might make him feel excited when he when he's with you too, like to be your daddy, to be to be a little bit dominant, I suppose, you know, to just show you who's the daddy kind of thing. So let's see. What the titans, the gods and titans have to say. So here we have Odin. Mm, I like Odin. And Odin is happens to be a father, of course. <laughs> and he is guidance. So he want, is this kind of same as like, he wants to kind of show you what he likes and show you what you like that you might not already know that you like. So that kind of turns him on. To turn you on will turn him on. To be your dominant and tell you what to do to kind of guide you and teach you and show you what he wants will be what he wants what will, is his fantasy you know to kind of show you what he wants and um also uh so it's kind of yeah so he's like kind of got this role of authority and he wants your respect and yeah between the two of you you'll you'll develop this kind of understanding wisdom and knowledge and just wants you to be patient with him, but he wants to be the one that guides you and teaches you things. That's his fantasy. Let's see what else. The fairy forecast. Yeah, so Ness, basically just uh, get comfortable in this bed. <laughs> he'll, he'll take it from there, you know. Um, yeah, he'll be teaching you and touching you and showing you places and spots and things that you might like. So I think overall in this one, it's kind of like he wants to be your daddy dom. That's basically what it is. You know, he just wants to um, be your teacher, your guide, your mentor, your arouse you, you know, touch you, look at you, excite you, like that. Okay, guys, I hope you like that. Please like, subscribe, touch the notification bell, and... Um, check out everything in the description box if you want personal readings and anything else that you might be interested in. Please email me if you have anything that you can't put in the comment section. But if you want, you're welcome to comment below on anything that you're interested in, in uh, as far as subjects or whatever. Could be along the same lines as sexual subject matter, any other questions you might have. Just let me know. All right, I'm on to the next. Okay, and here we have this sort of iridescent, opaque pebble, stone, rock. All right, so we have um, several different cards here. We are using the sexual tarot, sexual magic, and the wildwood tarot, and. Um, most of them, um, I, I have two cards mostly for the sexual magic, but each deck spit out a number. The spirit decided they were going to spit out how many cards they wanted of each group. So right now we'll start off with two sexual magic cards. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is about coolness, but don't let that at sway you into thinking that there's no fantasy here because he could just be interested in watching you touch yourself, you know? It's kind of like um, a step away, distant kind of thing just to watch you because, yeah, I just like to look at you. And here is the moon. 
So yeah, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> the moon is fancy. The spell of love. This is a real sweet card. It's like a slow but effective magic action based on sound and evocation of happy images. So yeah, like that makes me think that he likes to look at you. And and he also looks kind of like a breast man. He likes the boobies. Mm -hmm. And let's see what... I was thinking also, you know, this could have something to do with, maybe he likes to watch porno with you, you know, that might be something that y'all might like to try together, if it's visual things that attract him. Yeah, because this is about happy images. <laughs> Alright, let's see what uh, the Wildwood Tarot has to say. Wildwood is balance. So this is my first Wildwood um, Major Arcana, and this one was really interesting. So um, balance is is on the wheel of the, the big wheel of the world, it is um, the calendar. It's, it signifies Beltane, which is May 1st. And that is associated with the half moon. So here we got the moon again. And um, in universal love. And it's the gateway of life. And balance is linked with the elements of air and fire, creative impulses, and humanity and nature. So this kind of getting kind of deep to me. So like he might not just be a frivolous, oh, like let's just watch porno kind of guy. He might really just want to watch you, you know, like um, stare at you to look at, at each other like in a tantric situation where the two of you are um, kneeling in front of each other or in a, an embrace with each other where you're looking at each other and holding on to each other, that kind of thing can be very erotic, you know, and you were, it's like exchanging of energies, and it's very esoteric, very deep. So let's see what the, um, the uh, gods and titans is Poseidon, who's one of my faves. I love Poseidon. He shows up a lot, and it's about flow. So it's about the flow of creativity and prosperity and abundance and all kinds of good flow, but also flow, you know, as, as an erotic sense and a sexual sense could be the flow of, of, um, of your, you know, like, your calm and other things like that it could also be, so the side thing is like maybe he's interested in breast milk, that like a lot of guys have that kind of fetish this is more but this is a fantasy reading not a fetish reading necessarily but that could be like a side thing maybe he really wants to see you um he really wants to please you and and see those flows of of water between you and he's he's like a um he's pretty deep kind of guy so deep you know that could have to do with it too like this depth of your of your connections the balance um, yeah, so in a tantric situation, y'all could get really deep with each other, just staring in each other's eyes, and then there's this flow between you, and then there's like this kind of arousal that happens without even touching each other. See, this coolness, it's not exactly coolness, it's just not touching each other, it's just like expressions of energy between each other. <coughs> Um, another thing you might like that he might be interested in is things that have to do with the water. So he could maybe like to make love by the sea, by the ocean, by a river, under the moon. You know, those kinds of things might might appeal to him. Um, in the shower, you know, tub, things like that. Let's see what else. So finally, from the fairy forecast, we have fairy king. So yeah. He's just, finally just wants to be your king, you know. He wants to exchange this. He's like the, the light, you know. He's a light worker. He's a really beautiful guy, you know, who has this beautiful energy. And he wants to just share that with. So that's what I'm thinking, mostly. Like, I mean, in the baser sense, he might like visuals, like porno and things like that. But I think between the two of you definitely he wants a more a deeper connection and a more of a, an erotic situation where you can exchange um, 
energy that's not just sexual, you know, that's, that's energy of this love, this vibe. And then when, when you do, um, have, um, sex, when you have intercourse, then the intercourse will be super explosive, you know? So that's what he's kind of like hoping for, something like that, where you have this, 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 you know, not touching kind of situation. And then when you do, it's like, you know, like an amazing kind of situation. But he's a guy, he's sort of, he's not really cool. He's just, he is kind of cool, you know what I'm saying? Like cool, but in a good way, you know, he's a little bit aloof and he's full of the light and he's beautiful and he feels that same way about you. And so your attraction is going to be very kind of on the mental plane at first and then it'll be more of a, a physical thing. So yeah, that's what he's hoping for. He's hoping for this kind of uh, special tantric type attraction, um, sexual experience with you. Yeah, so that is the end of the third one, and I hope you like that. Please like, subscribe, um, hit the bell for notifications. Please comment below if you liked it, or if, whatever, if you want more like this. If you have other ideas, please feel free to comment on them. If you need a personal reading, I have that information now in my description box, how you can reach me and um, the different prices. And, um, yeah, it... As far as personal readings, we can do any subject matter and use any tarot cards you're interested in. So we could do totally do a, a private one that has to do with this subject matter, if you like it. All right, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a nice rest of your week. I might be back again tomorrow. <laughs> I have all this time on my hands now. All right, so faith, trust, and pixie dust.